I really am very fond of this woman. I like how she is. But it didn't work. It, it was too sort of uh, flat and cut out. So I decided to bring it in front of the figure. It was a good, it was a good decision. Uh, my name is Hazel Belvo. Um, I'm a painter. Because of how I use images, as icons and archetypes. I am not really a narrative painter, nor am I a so-called realist. I guess I would call myself more as, in the nature of my paint, an expressionist. I like the fact that she works in series. And for me, it started with the spirit tree paintings. And she, and she still comes back to that, which I really enjoy. This series that she's working on now is just incredible. It's just amazing. When I'm working on a big piece, I um, begin choosing the colors for the painting and set a palette, squeeze them out, and then I start mixing. I think the biggest thing about Hazel is her ability with color. I mean, she is just masterful with colors. Most of the color in all the paintings are, is desaturated, and what, how I do that is I mix all the colors that are on the palette, a little bit of that in each color, and then I'll start working with saturated color. It's like a conversation with the painting where you push some part of the space back and pull some forward, and you continue to do that until you get the result that you want. These are beautiful books. This is how I find images. If I draw all the time and then look at them carefully, then images will it'll give me a place to start in the bigger work. This corner doesn't move. It doesn't go back and forward like that corner. And I need to I need to put some dark in here. Maybe this is coming forward. See, this is more saturated green than what's behind it. So it should come forward. For me, all the reading I do and the thinking I do, and it all comes out in the work. I think that's the important thing, is that you let it be who you are. You don't manipulate it and be something different. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.